Okay, we're back in the Sawtooth. Just drove up today, this afternoon, making a quick trip to Lady Face Falls and Bridal Veil Falls. So it's a little over eight miles round trip, and it's a there and back. And this section is part of the Idaho Centennial Trail, uh, which I was just explaining a minute ago. Uh, is a trail that goes from the southern end of Idaho all the way to the northern point. So it traverses all of Idaho uh, north to south. Um, I forget the exact mileage, but it's like 1,200 miles, I think. Uh, in total, this is a small section of that. And we're going to be doing that now. view on this trail. We're about a half mile in is all. Pretty spectacular. This is probably a really pretty spot when the wildflowers are in bloom. Well, we're at the yep, tail end of that season. Yeah. Mostly going lots of grasshoppers. Yeah. Yeah. Those sawtooths in the distance. Fun little bridge. This is a little bit of a marshy section. So I had to create a way to get through it. That's fun. View from the trail. We're about halfway to Lady Face Falls at this point. We're almost a mile in. Pretty easy going so far. Man, there's a trail system right here though. You can tell the uh, work that's been done. Pretty interesting to see. Because they put it through this meadow and they had to make sure that the water could still flow throughout. And so as they built it out, it's pretty impressive feat. But uh, yeah, great views, great trail. So far, so good.
All right, we're now on more of a trail trail. Still very clean. That is obviously managed just well trafficked. Main peak up there, through the trees. We're getting closer. Another chipmunk. He's not bashful at all. There he goes. Had a bit of a roadblock there. Had to go around. How clean these trails are and managed. Surprised a little bit by that. It looks like they've been there a while. Trail is definitely less managed now. It's a little more, a little more rugged. And it just made it through a pretty respectable section of elevation gain. is not super steep or super challenging, but enough to get the old legs warmed up nice and toasty. Um, not bad. And we should be almost to the falls. The first one is the Lady Face, Lady Face Falls. So we'll check in once we get there. creek right down there. So we're back near the water, should be getting close to the falls. Should be there any minute. A little bit of a river crossing. Summer's got it easy. She wore her sandals. wasn't wasn't great for the rest of the hike, but <laughs> made sense for that. Me, on the other hand, yeah, I made it. Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it's still cold, still mountain runoff. From those alpine lakes. creek crossing back there. I think we were supposed to stay on the uh, west side of the creek to go to, to Lady Face Falls. Um, on the maps it looked like the trail to Bridal Veil Falls would walk, go right past Lady Face, but <laughs> we have, we're almost to Bridal Veil Falls at this point and we have not seen Lady Face so we're going to continue on to Bridal Veil. And then we might see if we can catch Lady Face on the way back. So, well, that's how it goes sometimes. Onward and upward. Falls are right over there. You can hear them. Back there, just a little bit, was one pathway that would take you up along the west side of the falls. The map we're following puts us on the east side of the falls. There's not much difference, really, in the trails that we could see on the map. So we're gonna. We're going to go the further one on the east side, and if it doesn't work out, we can come back and go up the west side trail and see if that's a better one. We're about to do another creek crossing. So, See how manageable this is here. Any huckleberries to eat? Oh, not much of a, not much of a creek so far. <laughs> Not much of a creek so far. I'm supposed to cross a creek here. All right, here it is. are <laughs> down the muddy part flat yeah, I already got my foot wet uh, there's a log up here
almost to the falls. You can see them just past the bush there, right between the bush. Okay, this is the majority of it here. With that as the backdrop. So let's see if we can get all the way to the, the falls here. There's there's some more the set one of the sections. Destination right up there. My wife, the rock star, doing this in sandals. I would suggest bringing hiking boots and a pair of sandals in your backpack. There she is. Bridal Veil Falls. All right, we did not do Lady Face Falls because we couldn't find it. So, one place we thought there might be a second trail at the creek crossing, it wasn't. It was just it just led to a different part of the creek crossing. So, it was all the same trail. So, we did not go and find it. We are a little tired, very hungry, and that was. Yeah. Yeah, we were using all trails, and uh, so we had it queued on Bridal Veil, and it looked like if you compared the two, the hike to Lady Face and the hike to Bridal Veil, it looked like Lady Face was right on the same trail, but it's not. At least as far as we could tell, we never saw it. So we don't know where it is. Um, so. Either have both pulled up, one on each device, or I don't know. You figure it out, but um, yeah, you wanna you'll wanna have it in the trails map to both different spots so that you can find them if you want to hit both. Um, I will say that that 800 feet of vertical of elevation there at the end of Bridal Vale. Yeah, that's interesting. It's uh, a lot of shale, gravel, very steep, very hard to navigate. So just be careful. You know, mind your mind your footing. If you have any kind of mobility issues, you're not gonna make it. It's it's hard. Um, I have a little bit of a left knee issue, and it was. It was starting to give me grief on the way down, so um, I'm doing okay now, but we're on our way back out. Beautiful falls. I think it was worth it. And I say I think because that was a little, that was tough. <laughs> and we're not completely back, so I think I need a few, I think I need to take a beat where I can officially say it was 100% worth it, but I'm pretty sure I'll get there because it was gorgeous. It was so nice being by that water. Cooled you right down. It's gorgeous, wildflowers. I mean, it was like the whole thing. Uh, and then across the valley, gorgeous view of Sawtooth. Uh, it was just, honestly, it was hard to beat. It was awesome. So if you can do it, do it. It's worth it. 
but we're gonna get get out of here before we lose our daylight and go get some food because we're hungry it was 8.5 miles round trip maybe 8.6 let me check here 8.57 8.6 um, round trip we did a little extra by going all the way up to the falls um, from what all trails has marked it's probably another 50 feet of elevation gain um, overall great hike we're exhausted though the uh, elevation gain was definitely the the kicker that was tough um, river crossings uh, make it a little tricky um, but overall a uh, great hike uh, but we are tired and hungry so we're gonna go get some food but yeah, if you can get out here, Brattlevale Falls, uh, if you want a little easier hike, Ladyface Falls is shorter distance, but on our way out, we we checked the visitor log, and uh, somebody had gone to Ladyface Falls today, and they said it was a scramble. So wherever it is, it's also tough to get to, so keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, great hike. Uh, if you can get to it, great. Uh, get out there and do it. Uh, it's beautiful area stunning absolutely stunning and glad you could join us for this one and uh, we'll see you again in the next the next adventure take care bye